course. We're going to hear for Slap News with James Stone here. Power Slap number four. How excited are you, my man, going up against Dorian Perez? Oh, man. You don't understand. Like, I was I, I was so upset I didn't get to come for Power Slap three. So, for me to be able to come for Power Slap four, it gave me a little bit of extra time. And to really be honest, Dorian is, like, one of my bestest friends in the entire fucking world. But uh, we both understood and and – Right away, we're uh, knowing that we were going to make war, and that's what it was on stage. We're not friends. We're enemies. Totally right, man. I mean, Dorian is used to bringing the energy and the excitement, but I think you can bring more energy than he can and intensity to the stage. Looking back at your first matchup against Polar Bear, you had a level of intensity that we didn't see before in Power Slap. Are you going to bring that same level going into the match against Dorian? Oh, I'm bringing it triple, man. I'm bringing it triple. Awesome, my man. I mean, going in, you you talked about having, you know, a friendly camaraderie with them. Um, is that going to change your psyche or your mentality going into it? Or as soon as you get up there on that stage, it's war. You're fighting for your family. You're fighting for your livelihood. How do you, how are you kind of taking this? Listen, uh, when it really boils down to it, when I take those first couple of steps up the stairs to the stage, um, all friendliness goes out the window. Mm-hmm. Uh, while we're on that stage, we are enemies. We are at war. We are doing something where one has to be better than the other. And uh, whoever's the best is uh, who makes the money. Totally. And uh, I'm ready to make that money, son. Absolutely. Uh, I, I have a family here that mm-hmm. I'm trying to build a house and a sanctuary for. So, uh, that, that money is that money's going somewhere. So uh, there's nobody that is in this game right now that has the uh, the dedication or ambition that I have when it comes to this. I work out every single day, rain, shine, sickness, and in health. Um, I'm out here fucking pushing my body uh, past what it's used to being pushed to uh, just to just to build that extra muscle, to build that extra weight transfer, to build that chin. Um, I mean, if it, if there was anything else more I could do, I'd be doing it. Awesome. My man, I know you got a little bit worried there when you didn't get a call for power slot. Number three, Erica gives you the call this time for power slot. Number four, how much relief came to you when that happened? All right. So imagine, imagine, uh, your Christmas at the age of 12 and or, or 13 and receiving that PlayStation that you've been begging for that you've seen on the TV. That's how I screamed when Erica called me again. I was like, and, and then, and then Erica turned around and goes, uh, so are you going to do that again? Are you going to call me out again? And I told her <laughs> that if uh, she didn't give me a match that I'd absolutely do it again. So how exciting was that, my man? Slap News dropped it. Dana White picked it up. Erica's Instagram went crazy. Bro, How cool was it to be part of that? I gotta, I, I gotta give a really big thanks to you. Um, <laughs> I didn't even think that I was on Dana White's level of even being seen yet. You know, I was just, <laughs> I, I was a newcomer on my first match, and yeah. it didn't end in a KO. It ended up in a unanimous decision. Mm-hmm. Um, I deal damage, but I didn't think it was enough for, you know, uh, it wasn't enough to, to get me back right away. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, KO Chris ain't been back in a minute. And uh, that motherfucker is a, a gangster in this sport as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I had to I had to sit back and, and listen to uh, my assistant coach, my wife. Uh, and her tell me that, uh, I am good enough and, uh, some, uh, eventually somebody was going to pick up on it. Um, and, and that's what, uh, happened, but man, uh, I'll do it again. I'll do it all over again. I'll, I will blast Erica's shit out of the water. <laughs> amazing my man but you got the opportunity this time let's talk about dorian perez obviously he had uh, you know four and record then he just uh you know coming off a loss against Dwayne crespo there's a lot of tape now out there on dorian 
Um, you know, we've seen them, you know, obviously in Power Slap here and, you know, numbered cards fighting some of the biggest events. How excited are you that it's him? And what do you think, you know, his game is going to bring? Is going to be any challenges for you? Um, it's definitely, it's definitely going to be a war. I can, um, I can wholeheartedly see that just mm -hmm. in the fact of what uh, Dorian's personality is, where he comes from with, uh, with, with being a, a champ in street beefs and everything else. He's taken a good hit. Uh, he knows what it is. He's, he's taken, you know, several hits here uh, with power slap. So he knows what it is to get hit hard. Mm -hmm. um, can I say that he's been hit as hard as I'm going to deal him this time? I can't say that to be honest with you, uh, to really be honest with you, uh, Dwayne ain't got shit on me when it comes to power. Uh, I'm really not worried about anybody in the heavyweight class. Uh, I'm, I'm here to take this class. And after I take this class, maybe I'll, you know, get fat for a little bit and go deal with super heavyweights and take them motherfuckers out as well. Yeah, and then um, and then I'll drop the weight and I'll go and take light heavyweight. But I'm walking out of here um, and out of this sport before I decide to retire with three different titles. Awesome, man. Uh, uh, Dorian doesn't know what he's got coming for him. He really doesn't. He ain't never been hit as hard as I'm going to deal him. Mm -hmm. um, to be honest with you, I hope he gets the first coin toss, or or, or he gets first hit off the coin toss because. Uh, if he doesn't, I don't feel like he's going to survive long enough for uh, him to get to hit me. Uh, I love him to death. Uh, I think he's an amazing guy. Uh, one of my best friends, but I know uh, what's behind my arm. And uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna take heads off. Awesome, man. So what improvements have you made since the first time we've seen you up there at the table? So um, I got I, I got really involved in calisthenics and doing a lot of um, my own body weight workout. Uh, mm -hmm. On top of that, I got into doing a lot of kettlebell, and um, man, I'm 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 swinging a a 25 pound kettlebell uh, at the yeah. at the speed that I I smack polar bear with. So I really. I really feel sorry for Dorian because when I drop that weight, all that's going to do is just pick the speed up. Mm -hmm. uh, I have put in a lot of effort with uh, my neck and my jaw. Um, I got involved in uh, jaws or size with uh, the rubber balls. Mm -hmm. And uh, I do that legitimately at least nine to 10 times a day. Every time I get in the car, I'm driving down the road or anything. Uh, if I'm sitting here and I'm bored or I'm watching TV, uh, mm -hmm. I put that jaws or size in and, and I sit there and bite down on it. Um, I, I've got my wrist workouts and everything else that I'm doing with that just so I can keep my wrist straight. Uh, lost, I lost. I watched all of these slow mos, including my own, on this last match, and there's bend in my wrist um, mm -hmm. after impact is made. And uh, I don't want any bend in my wrist. I want it to be a continuation of my forearm when I hit you. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a lot of efforts being made. A lot of efforts. I don't really feel like there's too many people that have the dedication that I do. Mm -hmm. There's maybe one, and and I'd have to say as as much as he ain't got the power that I got, he's definitely got the dedication, and that would be Crespo. Um, I mean, that man spends a lot of his time mm -hmm. uh, studying this. So, totally, absolutely, man. Definitely more one of the uh, more technical fighters, um, you know, here in Power Slap. I know we previously talked to you, man. I know your weight was you know, fluctuating greatly from like the low two thirties. And I know you had to kind of put a lot of weight on and get over that, uh, two sixty five. where are you kind of sitting right now? And, uh, are you in line to make weight in there next week? Um, my weight as of today, I taken a, I took an official weight with, uh, a, an official scale and I am mm -hmm. at, uh, two fifty seven, seven. Okay. Easy. Uh, so, uh, honestly, I want to drop just a couple more pounds. 
mm-hmm. uh, because I want to be able to show up to Vegas and then that first night when I get there, go eat a steak dinner and be comfortable and not feel like I've got to wake up in the morning and go sit in a sauna. Totally. I hear you, my man. Are you going to bring the wife out this time? You guys going to light it up after the fights? No, nah, the old lady's going to stay with the babies. Uh, my okay. my uh, youngest son has, we've been dealing with a lot of sickness with him oh, uh, sorry, for the last month. Uh, we've in the last six weeks, he's had four ear infections. Uh, yeah, we just found so out through the doctor know. that we're going to end up having to put tubes in his ear. Oh, shit. Uh, I hear that. Yeah, so uh, it's been a little difficult uh, just because of his temperament and him being as young as he is, but uh, I still get enough time to work out. The wife is very dedicated to what I'm doing, so she's there taking care of the kids so that I can take care of uh, me doing what I need to do. So she's holding me down well. Awesome, man. One last question. Where can people follow you on social media going into this fight? Because they're going to want to be able to follow you all the way in because it's going to be fireworks once you get up there. Uh, well, uh, you can find me at, uh, on TikTok as Sassbilly Striker uh, under, or Sassbilly underscore Striker. You can find me on Instagram as uh, uh, James Sassbilly Stonier. Uh, you can find me anywhere under uh s-a-s-s-b-i-l-l-y including youtube uh also uh i want to give a shout out if that's all right with you uh my cousin uh bz inc uh he is my professional tattoo artist uh he's my he's my sass billy uh creator uh i want to be able to give a shout out to him i want to be able to give a shout out to uh empire uh barbershop and Tony Slippers, uh, my barber, and I want to be able to give a shout out uh, to yes to Bar Louie, uh, who on August 9th at 9 p.m. have shut down their upstairs floor VIP section uh, for a showing for uh, my live event. There First go. live event for so the UFC right at Broadway at the beach. So awesome, my man! I appreciate you. Looking forward to seeing you once again down there in Las Vegas, travel safe and all the very best. Hey, I appreciate it, bro. And just know, Seth Billy hungry.